Hey guys in this lesson we will talk about paleontological evidence methods of age determination of rock from the topic evolution this is presented by me yogita khandelwal paleontological evidence in the support of organic evolution study of fossils is known as paleontology so paleontology is a branch where we study fossils so what are fossils impression of past organisms found in rocks or dead remains of past organism so uh, when there is a uh, impression of past organism in rocks or there is remains of past organism found in rocks then it is called as fossils mostly found in sedimentary rocks so these fossils are found in sedimentary rocks and sedimentary rocks are formed uh, in bottom of oceans by deposition of sediments which uh, is turned in hard layers in years now uh, these uh, sediment uh, now rocks have sediments and if we have a section of earth's crust then we can see the layers of sediment one over the other and each sediment uh, each layer of sediment has different life forms and it represent the life forms uh, that died during the formation of that particular sediment so uh, these are found in sedimentary rocks preservation is possible in absence of oxygen because if oxygen is uh, present it would it would lead to decay and not fossilization types of fossils we have two types of fossils unaltered and altered fossil unaltered fossil whole body of extinct organism are found so when whole body as it is found in a rock or uh, generally it is found in polar ice so uh, when it is found as it is the whole body then it is known as unaltered fossil from the name itself unaltered there is no alteration but such type of fossil is rare for example woolly mammoth unaltered fossil about 25000 years old was excavated from siberian region so 25000 years old fossil of woolly mammoth was excavated from siberian region micro fossil that is a uh, fossils which are microscopic in size like pollen grain fossil is found fossilized in amber and since they are very tiny they are microscopic in size they are generally unaltered next is altered fossil uh, first is petrified fossil replacement of organic part by mineral deposition thus fossil consist of only hard part so when organism die uh, the organic part of that organism is replaced by minerals and thus fossils consist of only hard part it is most common type of fossil example fossils of bone teeth etc mold fossil fossilized mud having complete impression of past organism so if there is an impression of past organism on on fossilized mud then it is mold fossil cast fossil mold filled with petrified fossil so uh, sometimes there is mineral deposition on mold fossil then it is termed as cast fossil print fossils footprint or prints of wings skin leaves stem etc made in soft mud which subsequently become fossilized so uh, there is imprints of uh, footprint or wings on soft mud and then eventually it becomes fossilized then this type of print is called print fossils and it is also one of the most common type of fossil coprolite fossilized fecal matter which is phosphatic in composition particularly of reptiles or fishes so when a uh, content of intestine or uh, or the excreta are fossilized and they are of particularly of reptiles or fishes so this is called coprolite stromatolite fossilized calcium carbonate of bacterial origin so when bacteria uh, fossilized calcium carbonate of uh, bacterial origin is present it is called stromatolite fossils provide one of the most acceptable evidence in support of organic evolution 
फॉसिल्स फाउंड इन ओल्डर रॉक्स आर ऑफ सिंपल टाइप्स एंड दोज फाउंड इन न्यूअर रॉक्स आर ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स टाइप्स वी नो दिक ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर इवॉल्विंग एंड एज द ऑर्गेनिज्म इवॉल्व इट बिकम मोर एंड मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स तो दस फॉसिल्स फाउंड इन ओल्डर रॉक्स हैव प्रिमेटिव ऑर्गेनिज्म दस दे आर ऑफ सिंपल टाइप एंड फॉसिल्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म फाउंड इन न्यूअर रॉक्स आर ऑफ एडवांस्ड ऑर्गेनिज्म दस दे आर मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स टाइप सम फॉसिल्स रिप्रेजेंट्स कनेक्टिंग लिंक बिटवीन टू ग्रुप्स सो देर आर फॉसिलाइज कनेक्टिंग लिंक कॉल्ड इज मिसिंग लिंक लाइक आर्क्यूपटेरिक्स दैट इज कनेक्टिंग लिंक बिटवीन रेप्टीलिया एंड एड्स by fossils we can study the evolutionary pedigree of an animal like stages in evolution of horse elephant and man etc thus fossils provide evidence in support of organic evolution now methods of age determination of rock so how we determine the age of fossils fossils are present on rocks so we determine the age of rock which helps us in determining the age of fossil Uh, now we have variety of me- uh, methods first is radioactive dating method uh, it has first is rock of clock method it uses uranium and lead so it is uranium lead dating method second is carbon 14 dating carbon 14 is radioactive isotope with half life 5568 years and its stable isotope is carbon 12 we know carbon 14 is radioactive and in this half life it is converted in carbon 12 potassium argon dating method with half life 1.3 into 10 raise to power 9 years among radioactive methods potassium argon dating method is best just remember potassium argon dating method is best we have all re- all listened about the carbon 14 that it is radioactive so whenever the question comes which is the best method for determination of rock everybody takes carbon 14 because uh, we know we have listened it many times but actual answer is potassium argon and the reason radioactive potassium is found in all rocks so potassium since it is found in all rocks so it is used can be used to determine accurate age of even older rocks since it is half life is 1.3 into 10 raise to power 9 years so uh, we can determine age of even older rocks no electron spin resonant method this is most recent and accurate method and nowadays this method is only used to determine the age of rocks and among radioactive potassium argon dating method is best so that's all for this lesson thanks for watching